Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2. I'm Karen Maku. And I'm Doom Dragon. Okay, so, um, what? You didn't start the timer. Oh, shit, yeah. You got everything set every time, Lonnie, every time. Get up. I'm just frazzled because there was that thing that happened with our stream, so I'm trying to make sure everything's working properly. Ah, uh, the mental checklist. Yeah, there's a new thing on the list now, so, you know. I don't care what you have to say. Yeah, I think he just says the same thing every time, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. How is this game still loud? Oh. Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly. Like the night got skipped or something. Almost like I'm in a video game. That, that explains why I feel so tired. But I'm, but I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Hooray! I dropped <laughs> Okay. Hey, it's Gundam. Gundam. Gundam Tanaka. You're gonna fucking hate me. What are you doing? No, nothing yet, because we don't have free time. But... Who do you want to hang out with during free time? Because in this game, isn't it a thing of, like, you can't, like, the free time is basically useless? What do you mean? Because it's not like you can get, ho like, full hope fragments with anybody. You can't, but you can get more hope fragments in order to buy skills. Oh, right, right, right. So, yeah, you know. Okay, cool. Just... Oh, word. Shut up. Kasho? I'm going to hit you. A shizzle? Stop it. I still love that one lady got fired over it. Oh, man. Hmm. Hey, you can't... You... <laughs> <laughs> Just walk into a room, that's the first thing you hear. Hey, you can... <laughs> hey, you came at the right time. Uh, what do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? Isn't it obvious? That stuff he said about a traitor and world ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'll suddenly find out something. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. I didn't sleep. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of, the, of that baffling nonsense. But, but I wonder if it's really true. That's not... That there's... <laughs> that there's a traitor among us. No! No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario... Impossible. Impossible! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. I'm also awfully certain about this! And he just picks her up and football throws her into the ocean. He grabs her by her pigtails and just whips her around like you do with, with, with um... A towel. Yeah, a towel. She just, it's the scene in fucking uh, Matilda. She just grabs a kid by the pigtails and fucking swings her around and throws her. <laughs> You've never seen Matilda, have you? I have never seen Matilda. Damn it. Of course. In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Uh-huh. Tied up, you say? Hang on a minute. Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? No. <laughs> Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! He, what about that other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? He's so much of a traitor, he works at Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, this, this is a great character. Hey, Kazumichi, what should we do? Hey! Dumbass, don't rope me into this. They'll find out we work together to... <laughs> you guys are both idiots. And you're short. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well, you know... There's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? Well, he's not wrong. Yeah. So that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up? And unconscious! However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. And unconscious! should I put this? He's a little creepy. I'm not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! 
He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high. He could sell tickets. <laughs> he can sell. His You've got this, man. I'm sorry. It's just that that's a weird sentence. His creepiness is so high. He can sell. He can sell tickets to see it. Good instinct. <laughs> that's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall, my tears. Drama queen. <laughs> what they like and what they hate. What makes them happy. What makes them angry. It's normal for all for all beings to have standards rooted in experience, so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. Opponents, 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 opponents. <laughs> Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. What the hell are you doing over there? I am peeling the plastic out of the inside of a bottle cap of root beer. Please stop. No, you cannot hey. stop me. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. <laughs> anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? In an undisclosed uh. location in my bedroom. Wait. <laughs> the dining hall and in the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> so you're saying it's better to kill off a, a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy? Hey, you're saying... You killed him? Yeah, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. People can survive getting hit in the head with monkey wrenches, right? Then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up, uh, what he, he'll end up doing next. Wait, so how would Monokuma react if like someone's action? Well, actually, we already know that. Never mind. I was gonna say, how would he react if someone's actions unintentionally led to the death of a person? But like, eh, what do you mean? We know that already. Later on in this game, that one case. It's like the fourth or fifth case. I can't say much else without spoiling it. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm trying my absolute goddamn bestest. I'm thinking. Uh, it, it, I think it's the fifth case. It's like the final, the the final case before like the actual. Oh, the second, the last case. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. And uh, also, I think the first case of the third game counts because like. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. Hey, your mother, you, 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 you shut so up. Isn't it, so isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up? Okay, I'm sorry. I pressed the button. Wow, Lonnie. I know. I, I'm, I'm stupid. Jesus. This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see. If so, see. it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we didn't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Fuck, I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> Of course I thought of that. She probably should have thought of that. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't expect you two would be would do something like that. Really? Kind of feels like the perfect thing for somebody to do in this situation. I wish you'd trade it with, a, like, an achievement. <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. You're, you have no room to talk. What were you calling tiny boy? <gasps> You're here! Figures. You guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them. Look at you. Look at you, sheep acting all righteous. What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. Oh, did the shitty sheep all bleed at me? What, what did you say? Looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Okay, you're just proving his point. Yeah, at this point, like. Then again, I really don't think that, like, Fuyuhiko could take on, like, fucking Nekumaru. He can't take on anyone. Yeah, no. I don't know. He talks about, like, being able to kill people. Try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up! Shut you can't threaten me. I'm not scared. You're just a pipsqueak. Without the Kuzuryu clan backing you up. What'd you say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. Ooh, she got angry at her. You bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. Huh? What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um, Kazuichi, let's just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. Can I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. Uh, a few 
future. Uh, I, I was. I wonder if we even have a future. Nikon. Hey. Shut up. Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sorry, I was taking a sip. On top of this island's mystery, now there's also Nagito and Fihiko to deal with. Yeah, it's just one thing after another. Oh my god, how much longer until free time? Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our respective cottages. God damn, this game is slow. You know, I was watching Ratchet... Uh, hang on. Uh, so what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Okay, free time. Great. Okay, I'm, uh, you can tell me your thing about Ratchet and Clank while I go try to find the Mono Mono machine. I was playing Rift Apart, and it's been a while since I've played a Ratchet and Clank game. And I was just reminded that, like, those games are so fast-paced, but also the intro to the game takes so long. Like, it, I was playing that game for, I don't even know how long. It was, like, a good 15 minutes, it felt like. And, it, like, that was the that was the beginning of the game, where they taught you, like, the tutorial stuff. It was fun, don't get me wrong, because it was, like, all fast-paced. There was action stuff happening. But, like, man, it, I just got reminded of, like, geez, this takes a while. Okay, can we please cut to after the Mono Mono machine? Yeah, we can. I'm not going to leave all this in the... Wait, 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 typo. Where? Read it. Read every. Read, read it. Uh, would you like to try your hand? Uh, uh, try your hand against the almighty mono mono Yash Yashin. Yashin. I don't know. Maybe that's. Uh, maybe that's on purpose. Try not give it a no. I need to believe this game is as flawed as possible. Okay. Well, we're gonna end. We're gonna like end it here. Come back later. All right. All right. We're back. I've done what I wanted to do at the Mono Mono Machine, so let's hunt down who we want to hang out with. Shit, I didn't realize we were back. I'm eating popcorn. You're the one who wanted to get popcorn. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm saying I had a mouthful of popcorn when you said we're back. Okay, so who do you want to hang out with? Uh, I don't know. Oh man, I put a lot of cayenne in this. You put cayenne in your popcorn? Yeah, man. Has a little bit of a kick. Ew. Uh, I don't know, man. You pick, dude, bro. I don't want to pick. Somebody completely unrelated to the next case, um, Hyoko. Hyoko? No. <laughs> I find her detestable. Hmm. Uh... You to hang out with Mikan? Sure, she's tiny and adorable. Did you pull the gift guide? Yes, I have a gift guide. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hey, Buki. How's it going? I can hear people outside, and I know for a fact they're not at the pool. The pool's closed. Yeah, they could just be gone some, per some, some poor elf. You good, guy? No. Let's see. Chucky, Fuyuhiko, Gundam, Kyoko. Where's Mikan? <laughs> you gotta, there she is. There she is. Okay, cool. I hope I have what I need for her. Where's the pharmacy? Why don't you check before you go? Uh, let's see. Presents. I'm just saying, so you don't waste a chance. Uh, Queen's straight jacket. If I can... It's a weird thing for her to enjoy. I don't have that. Uh, 55. Mr. Stapler. I have that one. Okay, cool. Let's give her a stapler, then. Because, you know, that's whatever girl dreams of getting, I guess. I don't know, man. Maybe it's for work. She is a nurse. You're a nurse. Okay. Sorry, I was drinking tea. <laughs> Drug stores are amazing! Okay, calm down. Uh, just, just look around. Just looking around gets me excited. <laughs> you know, knowing what we know about their characters, because we've already played this game, makes it way weirder. That she says that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's invite Mikan to hang out. Do I want to spend time with this bitch? That perhaps you want to give, uh, want me to give you a shot? Is that it? That that's it, right? Don't they say that like she treats people in like fucking wars and shit? I don't know. I spent time today running away from Mekon while she chased me with a m medical syringe. She started the timer up again, right? Probably. 
Nope. <laughs> it looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Yeah, sure, I'll give her a gift. Yeah, give a gift to the crazy bitch who just chased you around with a syringe. You know, that's safe. Um, I gotta burp, hang on. Why did you... Why did you know what I wanted? I'm inside your head. Could you be Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's he Santa Claus with a gift for me. What should I do? Really happy, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts crying. Despite the fact that we decided to hang out, Mikan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow I feel I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Um, oh, did you not hmm? do a thing? Oh, I'm sorry. What's this all of a sudden? I thought. You clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. Did I do something wrong again? <laughs> what should I do? Um, would it make you happier if I took off my clothes? Hang on. <laughs> Hold on, why are you reacting like that? You're right. You don't want to see me naked, right? Then how about my money? Do any of us even have money? Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. Alright, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to talk to you normally. Talk? Um, today is such a beautiful day. That's eh, a little hot out. I'm sorry, should I take off my clothes? Why is that the default? <laughs> Why is that the default? You are... How old are they? They're like 14, they're 15? Six, they're like high school students, so they're around like 16 or so. Okay. Alright. Doesn't, wait, doesn't it tell us you... Doesn't... Wait, yeah, you're right. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, the profile is telling us their ages. Ma maybe it does. Because like knowing the things about Mekon that we know... Uh, hang on, let's check Hajime first to see if it tells us their age. Uh, no. Damn it. Doesn't tell us their age. Damn. Really? If you want, I can look up uh, how old... Uh, Japanese students are when they start high school. I mean, maybe later. Okay, I'll look it up later. Either way, I feel like she's at an age. Like, either way, like, hmm. You know. You gonna... Implications. Oh. Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that. This is troubling. I guess just start talking to Mikan about something she might get excited about. Uh, okay. Bandage type. What's your favorite? Wow, I wonder what the nurse character would want to talk about. Pizza, guys, or bandages? <laughs> Should be more... Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mikan, what type of bandages do you like the most? Bandages? <laughs> Let's see, there, there's a lot of different types these days. It's extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely like them. There's all. dozens of types. There's waterproof, sticky, end of list. <laughs> but I definitely like non-elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, but they still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into the conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went ahead and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked anyway. Also, I felt I feel like I got to know you a little more. <laughs> Let's call it a day for now. Mom! Yes! It's not too much trouble for you. Would you like to... I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone's talked to me like this, so... Of course. Anytime. You just, like, back away while, like, snapping your fingers at her. So you're just like... <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Peace out. Thank you so much. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go our separate ways for now. But for some reason, I feel like Mekon was staring at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to communicate with her that well. But she's a little tiny, teensy bit crazy. Okay, you have to pick this one. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of root beer. Right now I decided to return to my room with root beer in hand. It's a very wonderful Screecher Fire Brewed Craft Root Beer. Oh god, I can smell on your breath. <laughs> this actually, I will admit, it's a really good root beer. 
I paid like 20 bucks for a gigantic 12 pack of 16 ounce bottles, which I might save the bottles. I already threw out a bunch of the bottles. Never mind. You, oh, still, well, have, you still have a good amount of them and you can probably get more at Costco. Yeah, that's true. Because 16 ounce bottles are really good when you're making alcohol and stuff. And if I ever get around to making soda, I'd have to buy a capping press though. Okay, your turn. You choose. You know what? I feel like just obliterating my voice. Let's go with Gundam. You want to go with Gundam? Sure. I just want to obliterate my throat. Hang on, let's see where Gundam is. Oh wait, we can go look at Nagito. Yeah, we did that when we played uh, the first time. I just like to imagine you just go there and poke, a, poke him with a stick while laughing at him. Gundam, wait. Remember kids at home, the only time it's okay to poke something with a stick is when right. you're on a beach seeing a jellyfish. They're at a diner. Always remind jellyfish that they're inferior beings. Poke them with a stick and laugh at them whenever you see them beach themselves. <laughs> Do the same with whales, except actually help them when you're done. Well, how are you going to help a whale back into the ocean? You call someone. Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking like, fuck am I gonna do? Push it? You call the Coast Guard or something. I, I still don't know what the Coast Guard are gonna do. They can get some reinforcements to push its big ass back into the ocean. If you get enough people, you can push it. Okay, Gundam. Physics says. Oh boy. What? I see. So you're the pursuer he sent. What? You'll never take me alive. And he pulls out a knife and slits his throat. Turns out the reason he wears a scarf is because he's done that multiple times. <laughs> he's very on edge. <laughs> Oh, so you're going to be defiant, or do you intend to betray him? I want to fuck you. <laughs> I also like to imagine that his eyes are like, like one of them is a contact. Well, of course it is. Depending on the information you possess, I don't mind making you one of my subordinates. Your so first I can be duty. one of the hamsters? <laughs> I was about to say, your first duty, clean the hamster cage. <laughs> I was forced to listen to Gundam talk about a ridiculous battle in the netherworld for territory and influence. I don't know, man. If he if, if he tells a good enough story, it can be riveting. Uh, oh, fuck. I didn't check what gifts he wanted. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, let me pull up the list. Did I pass Gundam? Dude, I actually, like, love ramen. -ay. What's ramen? What's that? It's that Japanese soda where you, like, push the marble into the, into oh. the bottle. Oh, right, yeah. That stuff's good. I'm like, glad you love it, sweetie. Japan makes pretty good snacks. I've been getting those Tokyo tree boxes, and they're they're pretty good so far. Oh, okay. Uh, sunflower seeds. That is uh, 18. Uh, here we go. Hey, you just throw a fistful of sunflower seeds in his face. Seed. Hajime, you fiend. No, I said that he loves it. You bastard. How dare you make me love you. <laughs> You are rather nice. Be happy! As long as this treasure is within my grasp, I will never forget this day I lost them. <laughs> oh, no, wait, it, it slid onto the floor. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Nope, the hamster stole it, never mind. <laughs> this. Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. Hang on, I must drink some sweet tea. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Hamsters can be vicious little fucks. They can also die on, like, a, the snap of someone's fingers. Oh, yeah. Same thing with, like, sugar gliders. Sugar gliders die, like, so easy, dude. They can't even eat right because they're stupid. So do human babies. Yeah, dude. The list of things... I don't know, man. Human babies are a little more durable than a sugar glider. <laughs> but not a hamster. Not a hamster. <laughs> Human babies are just, like, weirdly tough, but also so easy to, like, accidentally end. <laughs> just as I thought. You know nothing. Sloths are also, like, super easy to just die. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. Yeah, he's right about that part. Uh... Their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Today's fight started when Sad D got through Greedy and approached on Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champy. 
I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand. But it may not be that easy the next time. I see. That's troubling. Cool. Could, could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? Just the hamster's fighting. He just reaches in. He's like, no, 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 no. Stop it. <laughs> by the way. Do you know which species of my four dark davas of destruction has the largest body? Oh! Uh, oh fuck, don't ask me, man. You might have to, like, giggle this real quick. Um... You're gonna- you're not gonna giggle it? No, I want to guess. I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> Are you talking about Roborowski's hamsters? Oh. The attribute they possess is somewhat incompatible with me. They boast such a small and speedy size that you will lose sight of them if you are not used to it. I see that... Wait, now... Now's not the time to be impressed. I made a mistake. Okay. Oh, you got another shot? Golden hamsters. They're the biggest species, right? Yes. Those fearsome demon beasts boast the large size, the largest size among all hamster species. You can... However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. It appears you but only goldens no fear, thus they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying that uh, you're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? This too. That's why you must pay attention to the express levels when you are breeding them. Did you say express? No. <laughs> I spit in your face. <laughs> I uh, I certainly didn't know that. Nature. However, that isn't the only feature of goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality and patterns you could even say they have unlimited combinations. This body is After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. How foolish of me! But now, all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't understand what he's saying, <laughs> but it seems to, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he's left behind. Um, you're, uh, uh, you were probably taking care of the other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> They know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. I shall engulf this Soon a pure race will be born. Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. He's crazy. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of, how much of a responsibility it is to raise a pet. You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. How such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. That's like, what? Four years? Probably a little less? It's a... The... Hang on. Around three years, actually. Yeah, it's around three years. Remember well. <laughs> After saying that, Gundam walked away. He I... tripped in a puddle and fell on his face and then just kind of laid there for a few seconds before getting up. He tripped on the sunflower seeds and then <laughs> just was very devastated when they ripped open. I felt like I... Uh, I he felt fought like... the seagulls for 15 minutes. <laughs> I felt like I got a glimpse of a deep affection uh, Gundam feels towards all animals, not just hamsters. Cool. Is it time for something to happen? After seeing Gundam wallow, after seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. He lost to the seagulls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't care. You're just gonna say the same thing about the nighttime, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah go to sleep. 
Go to sleep. Go to oh, sleep. Oh, wait, no, it's different. Oh, shit. Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can. Come on, hurry up. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. Really? Come on, hurry the F up. <laughs> Somebody just gets really excited for the curry rice. <laughs> Shoot, who would it be? Oh, uh, Akane. Yeah. There oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, who who actually fell for that? I don't know what he's planning this this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Okay, I'm going. Oh, hi, Mikan. Oh, hey, look, it's the girl who's afraid. <laughs> We're just walking into her boobs until she turns into darkness, Lonnie. But <laughs> Okay, let's I just... keep telling you not to walk into people's boobs until they turn into darkness, but here we are. Okay, we gotta get Jabberwock Park. It's spoopy out at night. Oh god, the blood moon's happening. Oh no, Ganon! <laughs> Watch out, he's gonna start eating people. <laughs> he already ate Princess Sonya. Who's next? Yahoo! I'm the first one here! That curry's all mine! Totally took the bait. Wow. Indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too. Hey, hey! Is this a scientific term for when you get hungry after the hearing the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. I see you got here pretty speedy too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out of here! Okie dokie, thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Of life. Right. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. What are you gonna no do? need to rush, no need to rush. I said it was for tomorrow's dinner. <laughs> and also, there's no curry. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely cu delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. I can't imagine any anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries. It takes skills to make make na uh, to make curry nasty. That is false. That is a truly nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. Understand? Oh, it's past my bedtime. If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Uh huh. You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? Is it the arcade? Okay. What is this? <laughs> she like flings her entire body at it and crashes into it. <laughs> is this an arcade machine? Correct. That's correct. Thank you for waiting. So I would like the long awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me you're going to tell us to play this game. Hey, what? what's the game? What's the game? What games are on it? <laughs> Start shaking him. You tell me now! <laughs> She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Uh, you did? Then, then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Famous game? I shall now present. Ta -da! The name of the game oh, he's reading is this. Yeah. Great. Why is it that in Japan the titles for things are always full on sentences? I don't know. If I lived in Japan, I'd tell you. Stupid! Things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Right. I don't know. 
an arcade game quarters. Okay. Twilight Syndrome. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in, uh, in order to, <laughs> in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> she punches him and it does like absolutely nothing and he's like, that didn't hurt. But it did hurt my feelings! <laughs> and I don't even know what generation of game that old is. You, with your face, it's... I find that hard to believe. Yeah, Alright, you can't even okay, be mad he, about that. He looks like a grown-ass man. Yeah, but his ID says that he's in high school. Okay, but he looks like a grown-ass man. Boring! Like, I'm sorry, but like... And he, she he... looks like she's in kindergarten. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> but adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? He has a beard. Yeah, he so like did a... a lot of dudes in high school. About to make a joke. Don't make the joke. I know you. <laughs> Don't make the joke. <laughs> Don't disadventure games. Besides, there's lots of reasons to make one. No. no. You know, like budgetary reasons. Oh, man, I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you? Shouldn't saying? you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title. And what's the point of this game? Shut up, I'm gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it, uh, just to enjoy it, right? Well, you nice. certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is gonna be your next motive! Wow, I didn't the see that coming! No way. What a twist. You mean that you're trying to manipulate us emotionally to kill each other for your own personal amusement? What? This game is the motive? Actually, there we go. In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. Really? You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Um, what does that mean? If you're interested, then try playing it. Okay! Hey, you can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Excuse hey. me. Sorry. Hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? That's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. Thanks, I know. <laughs> I just like that those two are like bros. Yeah. And it's just completely a background thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> I see. That never occurred to me. But, are you sure you want to do that? Hey, Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared, and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? Never forget, in this world, it's milk or be milked. <laughs> <laughs> Monokuma <laughs> would be the one to say that. Yeah. In this world, you're either the one who gets milked or the one who does the milking. So grab a fucking stool and bucket, motherfuckers. I choose to be milk because it makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It like cuts away and then cuts back to Monokuma and he's wearing like cow print now. Get started. <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In the contents, in the in the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. What do you mean? You guys are all enemies, you know. Is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? Yes. If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye-bye! What the fuck? <laughs> hey, what should we do? Destroy it. Even... There's no rules. Saying you can't... is a train. That That's the train? Yeah. Okay. Are there any rules? Well, I guess there would be destruction of pub, the property, huh? Uh, yeah, they're not allowed to break shit on the property. And they're oh. also... I don't know if the rule is around yet, but they're also not allowed to litter. That's a rule. 
That's a rule right now? Yeah. Okay. Because they brought it up uh, at some point a while back. Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. A anyway, it, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no, there's no mistaking that. You are right. You are right. I might... It might be better if we wait and see how it, how this plays out. But but wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Wouldn't it be bad if you kept living? Whoever gets the whoever gets the motive would become the hunter, and the rest of us would be the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. You're a messed up person to be. <laughs> but it's true. If you lost, as you end up dying, all we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byakuya Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, yeah, spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But, but Fuyuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You two, you're, what are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Because it's not like that. I mean, how can, how can you be cautious if you don't know what, if you don't know the motive? <laughs> hmm. Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> That, that might be true, but nope, it doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never- will never allow it. Okay, I will never ever let another killing happen. She's gonna be the next one to die. Okay. Well, I mean- <laughs> That's what, like, almost always happens in these games, right? Is you have a character who steps forward and is like, I'm not going to let another killing happen, and then five minutes later, they're dead. I don't know. Kyoko was saying that a lot last game. I guess so. And guess where she is. And she kept failing, too, though. She kept failing. She did a very bad job. It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'll... I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But... But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Oh, me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You didn't agree. <laughs> Burdened by un uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective guises. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I would never ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all of this in her own way, but... Sleepy. I feel sleepy. I should go back to... Never fucking mind. I can't read her at all. Okay, I... let's uh, call it uh, an end right now. Jesus Christ, this was the first episode. This was the first episode. I was really looking forward to fried chicken for dinner tonight. You could still have it. It when we finish recording, it's gonna be nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm sorry. A motive. A no, we gotta end it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Dangin' Rampa. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.